oh gosh, that song is so catchy. I love it. I find myself singing it all the time. Let, let, let all the children. <laughs> oh gosh. So anyways, uh, last week we taught about um, Jesus loves the children, says come to me. And at the end of that lesson, I asked you guys to do a coloring sheet. Pastor Christy sent it out and I wanted to show you mine, okay? And I'd love to see some of yours. I wanted to talk about this a little bit. Look at all these beautiful children, right? Oh gosh, and you know what? They're all different. Look at them all. Look at the hair collars different. Some of them are wearing eyeglasses. Oh, this little girl's in a wheelchair. And uh, you know what? They're all beautiful, right? Oh gosh, God loves all the children. When I was little like you guys and I went to vacation Bible school or Sunday school class, we learned a, a, a song that um, sticks with me and makes me think about it whenever I was talking about this lesson. It's, um, Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. They are yellow, black, and white. They are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Isn't that cool? Miss Rhonda learned that when she was a little girl, and that song has stuck with me, and it helps me to remember that not everybody looks just like me, and that's okay. God loves all of us, right? So you might find that maybe you and your friends or your brothers and sisters, maybe you have different hair color, maybe your eyes are a different color. It's okay, doesn't matter. God made us all in his image. He made us wonderfully. He gave us all unique abilities and he wants us all to know that he wants all of us to come to his kingdom someday. And all we have to do is accept his invitation, right? He says, let me come into your heart. So let me tell you a little bit about this Bible story. It comes from Mark chapter 10, verses 13 through 16. And I think you're gonna like it. I'm gonna read it. And let's talk about the story first of all here, and then we'll talk about the Bible verse, okay? Jesus was teaching the people about God all day. And as he was talking, some of the parents came up and they brought their little kids because they wanted they wanted the children to meet Jesus, and they wanted Jesus to bless their children. So they were gathering around, you know, and Jesus' friends, the disciples, well, they kind of thought that maybe the parents and the children were bothering Jesus. So they were telling him, hey, yeah, he's been busy all day. You guys need to give him some room and don't bother Jesus. You know what? Jesus was kind of upset with his friends about that because that's not how he felt at all. He actually told his friends, the disciples, don't hinder them, don't stop them from coming to me. I want them to come to me, let them come to me. Oh, so you know what? The children got to go to Jesus, that was great. He said, let the little children come to me and do not stop them for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God, like a little child will never enter. He took the children in his arms, he placed his hands on them, and he blessed them. We talked last week about a blessing, remember? A blessing is a little bit different than a prayer. A prayer is when we're talking to God. We're directing our words to God, and we're, and we're talking with him. A blessing is um, like when we direct our words towards a person. You know, we wish them good things, okay? Um, a blessing is like, a way to wish somebody good luck, okay? So that's what these parents wanted Jesus to do for their children. And he says, yeah, I wanna do that, come, because kids like you are so excited about things, we adults can learn so much from you. Your enthusiasm and your excitement and your innocence is just precious. Jesus loves you so much, so much. Let's see here. Um, Let's talk a little bit about the story here, okay? Uh, what did the parents want Jesus to give their children? Remember, we talked about it. They wanted Jesus to give their children a blessing. That's why they brought him to Jesus. 
And the disciples, what did they do when the parents brought the children up? Well, they tried to keep the kids away from Jesus, didn't they? Yeah. Well, when Jesus saw that his friends, the disciples, were trying to keep the kids away, what did he do? He said, let them come to me, right? He said, don't stop them. Oh, well, what do you think that Jesus meant by that? I think that he meant that everyone, even grown-ups, need to trust him and love him, just like you guys. All right, you guys, I want to show you a picture here. <clears throat> I love this uh, lesson that they give us. It's always such an awesome pictures, the collars and everything that they use. I just want to show you kind of a funny looking tall and skinny Jesus, right? But you know, we're made in his image and sometimes we're tall and skinny and goofy looking. <laughs> he loves us all though, right? That's pretty cool. Well, you know what I'd love to see from you guys this week? I would love if you guys could draw a self portrait. That means I want you to draw yourself. Can you draw a picture of yourself from Miss Rhonda? And then if you come to church this Sunday, bring it so you can give it to Pastor Christy, okay? I want to do something fun with your drawings if I can. If you don't make it in, that's okay. Take a picture of it and have your mom or dad send it to Pastor Christy, okay? Through text message or email or something like that. Parents will know what to do, okay? So I'd love to see how you think you look. You know, I want to show you something here. Miss Rhonda used this in another lesson before. Remember these kids? Aren't they cool looking? They do not look alike at all, do they? That's cool. I love how God is so creative. He got all the crowns out of the box whenever he made us, right? So you get your crowns out, and I want to see your picture of yourself, okay? I love you. Let me say a blessing for you real quick before we go. May God watch over your days and watch over you at night while you sleep. May he show you his love and the beauty all around you. And may he always, always speak to you in quiet moments. I love you, kids. Bye.